Good afternoon and welcome to another center here at the campus of Rice State University. Today, WSM brings you a semifinal volleyball match in the state tournament. It is New Bremen and it is Crestview. This match is sponsored in part by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to do play-by-play -play alongside Chris Noodle. Chris, um, Crestview, you, you know, they were, what, to two and five at one point? They're in a 19 and two run. What's, what's changed with their program since September 12th? Well, it could be that uh, they started off a little poor because they were so young. They have one senior, two juniors, and the rest are freshmen and sophomores. So it probably just took those underclassmen a little bit time to get going. Uh, they're led by uh, Callie Gregory, the setter. She's got over 800 sets. And Maya Etzler, they're both juniors. And, um, and uh, yeah, just having so many underclassmen might have had a, a part in that. Kelly Gregory is a third team All-Ohio player, is a 5'10 junior. She has had a wonderful year. She, she can attack the ball, and she also has all those assists that you mentioned as well. She's got the assists, but she also has over 200 kills. That, that she does. New Bremen, they're the number one ranked team in the state. They have been throughout most of the year. Chris, is their, this is their fourth time being here. They've won it a couple times, including back in 2019. Is there pressure on the Cardinals today to perform with that, uh, that resume they've got coming in? Well, there could be, and, and but there shouldn't be. And like like you said, they're ranked number one. These girls that are on the team were in junior high and maybe even younger when uh, the first new Bremen team came down here. One of the assistant coaches is Paige Jones, and of course she's one of the all-time greats in Ohio. So. So I, I think maybe they'll be able to handle that pressure pretty well. Well, they also have a couple of young ladies who had all Ohio honors this year, and one of them being sophomore Melina Schrader, the other being Olivia Heitkamp, and they, they are kind of the leaders of this particular team. Well, they both made first team all Ohio. First of all, Schrader, just one of the great setters in Ohio, and Mark, I'm still stunned at that one-handed mm. set that she set earlier this year from the right side of the court all the way across to the left side hitter with one hand, great player. Olivia Heitkamp, um, over 400 kills, uh, the 6'1 junior, first team all Ohio. So they have, they have had a, obviously a good start to this year, and obviously both of them returning as well. Crestview comes in, they are 21 and seven. They were champions in the Northwest Conference with an eight no record. New Bremen, they are 26 and one. They were eight one in the MAC. They tie with a team that will play later today. That would be the Coldwater Cavaliers for the MAC championship. Chris and I have the opening tip off right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center here at Wright State University. It's Division IV semifinal volleyball time. Our scoreboard is provided by Loudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or in Van Wert or online at Laudix.com. The Crestview Knights, they will be in the black jerseys with red trim around the bottom. And on the other side, the New Bremen Cardinals, they are in their burgundy uniforms with black trim. The libero for New Bremen is Abby Powers. She wears a white uniform and about to serve the libero for Crestview. That would be Ellie Klein in the red jersey. Our officials today, Bob Levins are our one, Brian Satterfield are our two. Our line judges are Denise Stillsaver and Roger Hefner. And the opening kill attempt goes to Rihanna Paul. And that ball is hit outside the antenna. The first part will go to New Bremen. Really good crowd here, Mark. Uh, New <laughs> Bremen fans are behind us, so I'm sure our fans at home will hear that. And Crestview on the other side also with a really big crowd. Yeah, here's Melina Schrader to serve, and she missed the sideline. Uh, yeah, I was doing a little research for this. Crestview was here back in 1991, and in that date, the state championship matched through a total of 1,876 people. Combined for the whole, wow. whole day that day, and wow. obviously uh, we are significantly above that for a semifinal today. Here's Powers to set. This will be Heitkamp, and Heitkamp puts it away, Olivia. Well, she gets the first kill of the day, first team all Ohio. Sometimes she plays on the left, and sometimes she plays on the right. That hit came from the left. This service will be by Kiara Steiniger. Here's the set by Callie Gregory. The kill attempt will stay along by my Etzler. Etzler's the tallest player on the floor right now at 6'2". 
Here's service again by Steiniger. Good serve by her. From our angle, Chris, we can see that ball had a lot of movement on it. Well, no spin, lots of movement. Yep. We're down yep. here in the corner, right about where Steiniger is serving from, and she went cross court. That thing had all kinds of movement to it as she hit the ball to Lacey McCoy. Steiniger again, her team leads 4 1. Gregory sets. This is Etzler again, and she missed that time. 5 1. Just dumped over for a point that time by Kelly Gregory. She's a third team All-Ohio player. Well, we talked earlier about her. She has over 200 kills this year from that setter position, so we'll maybe expect her to, to do that quite a few times today. Here's Nevaeh Ross to serve. Powers plays that. Schrader sets, and Heitkamp goes off a blocker for a point. You should mention the winner of this will get Monroeville. Monroeville was a straight set winner over Newark Catholic. That will be the finals here Saturday at 11 a.m. Powers real, to serve. I was really impressed with Monroeville uh, today. Ball hit the antenna and is out. Yeah, they have a young lady who was a libero, is about as good as one you can find in Lily White. She was all over the floor today. Here's Powers again with her team leading by five. Klein has to hit it over. Out of the middle, that tip was by Rindler, and that ball goes in. That point will go to Crestview. That will bring in number 23, Josie Kawicki, to serve. Just one senior on this Crestview team. That would be Lacey McCoy. That one goes long, and only a couple of juniors. Yeah, Kelly very, Gregory and Maya Etzler. Very young team. Well, each team has missed a serve. 8-3 to serve. Heitkamp, 6-1 junior. Tipped over by Gregory. And then hit out of the back row, and that point goes to Heitkamp. She's got three kills already. Timeout, Crestview, they trail by six. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our opening set in the match today is sponsored by Lee Kinsel on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. It's a 9-3 lead for New Bremen early. Maybe, maybe some experience showing up here, Chris. Well, it could be. Uh, New Bremen's been here before, and of course they have no weak rotations. There's Heitkamp to serve again following our first timeout. And that goes into the net, stopping that particular rally. See if Crestview can score on serve. They have thrown three times and not scored on any of them as Callie Gregory will do the honors. 5'10 junior. Schrader sets. And that kill will be chalked up by Mary Rindler. The freshman gets her first kill. Rindler's a 5'9 freshman. Starts with a serve received, though. It's a nice serve received by Powers. There's Amelia Dammeyer to serve. Point Crestview. This time it will be Lacey McCoy to serve. That's one of the seven times you're not supposed to miss a serve after no. a teammate misses one. <laughs> There's about 30 of those seven. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Paul to Schrader, back set. And Rindler goes off a blocker for a point. Mary Rindler. Nice jump set, uh, a nice jump set from uh, Schrader. Marina Schrader, first team All-Ohio player as a sophomore, listed at 5'7". This will be April Baker to serve. She's a 5'6 freshman. Kill by 
Alan Figley. Crusty has stabilized things a bit as we've well, been through each rotation once. And Mark, we could see that that was right through the block. Mm -hmm. Here's Ellie Klein to serve. Schrader sets cross court, and then the kill attempt by Rihanna Paul. It was touched. We, we had a touch. Yep. 12-6 with Schrader to serve. If somebody will throw her a volleyball anyway. Twelve six, Cardinals with Schrader serve. Etzler hits it to the back row to Damire, and then Paul tips it over. And that kill goes to Adeline Figley. She has one kill from the left side, one kill from the right side. And trading points here as Figley serves. 5-10 sophomore. And what do we got? Net violation. First point Crestview has scored off of service today. Cuts it to four. Trader is either in the net or maybe her foot crossed the line. Hut camp played in the back row. Klein tracks it down. This will be free balled over by Gregory. And Hyde Camp again. And the score. Thirteen eight on Loud X Jewelry scoreboard. Steininger back to serve. Gregory hits it over. That kill attempt was by Megan Reinhardt. And then Figley. Steininger sets. And Heitkamp hits it to Figley this time. Here's the set. Etzler hits it over. Powers gets to it. And then winding up, putting that one away is Megan Reinhardt. It's Megan's first kill. Now four girls have kills for uh, the Cardinals. Steininger serves again. Gregory hits it to the back, and she missed the back line. Well, not a bad idea. Gregory's in the front row now, so she can contact that ball when it's above the net. Just missed it, though, by uh, well, less than a foot. Gregory sets. Etzler just rolls it over. Good effort throw by Schrader. And then the kill by Megan Reinhardt. Four consecutive Cardinal points makes it 16 8. Kara Steiniger will serve. And free balled over McCoy. Schrader back sets and Heitkamp hits it. Another free ball. And Heitkamp again. They are so good, Chris. You give them that many free balls, they are just too good with it. Timeout. This timeout will be called by Crestview. They trail by nine. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. the Nutter Center. We have premier sponsors for each team today. The premier sponsor for the DeBrayman Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate. Make your next move with a name you trust, Hemelgarn Real Estate. And our premier sponsor for the Crest Unites is Red Oak Realty. Ready to buy or ready to sell? Give us a call at Red Oak Realty. Premier sponsors for each club today on our Loudix, Loudix Jewelry scoreboard at 17-9 New Bremen. Well, after, sort of like after Creston's first time out, that seemed to slow down New Bremen a little bit. We'll see if that happens again here. The server go cross court. That she does. And 
Almost an ace. Epster's going to free ball it over. It's outside the antenna, however. <laughs> Ten point lead, New Bremen. Like how Denise Derslayer had to walk out into the center of the court in order to uh, see if that ball was inside or outside the antenna. Uh, one of the best line judges around, as you might expect when you're in the state tournament. Etzler hits it. Long. Pressure got here, Chris, and one of the ways they did so was perhaps the upset of the tournament year when they took out Tiffin Calvert. Well, Calvert, two state tournaments, state championships recently, one of the top teams in the state, and uh, they played a great, I was talking to some of the Crestview people earlier today, they said the team just was just on all cylinders and played about the perfect match. And they save it and free ball over a couple of lives, didn't New Bremen. Here's Etzler, and Etzler hits it long. Really nice point that time by New Bremen Cardinals. Yeah, they had a chance to get that point with the free ball, but couldn't, couldn't turn it into a point. Talked to the principal today from Crestview, Dave Bowen, does some basketball with, work with us. He missed that game because he's in a bike wreck. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Ace. Nine consecutive points have gone away of New Bremen. Hanging Steve. around with his biker buddies. buddies <laughs> yeah, what, well, but, uh, scraped up one side pretty good and uh, had to miss the match. Glad he's back being healthy again. Basketball season's coming soon. Etzler just rolls it over. And then what a play at the net that time. Would she get over the net? Back row attack. Well, evidently the ball hadn't the ball hadn't crossed the net yet. That was a close call. 22-8. It's a 14-point lead by New Bremen. Set. Dumped it over. Schrader back sets. Height camp. Down the line and in. She's got six kills in the first set. Cardinals with 11 consecutive points. And an ace. And we are at set point already here in set one. Steiniger trying to serve it out. Yeah, she's got three aces. This will be cross court again. She has served 11 of those 12 points they've racked up. And there's an ace. That will bring set one to a close. It's a big set for New Bremen. The Cardinals take the first set 25-8. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Back to the Nutter Center here at Wright State University. This game is brought to you in part by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. 25-8, Chris, opening stats. Well, for New Bremen, 11 kills led by Olivia Heitkamp with six, and four ace serves all by Kara Steininger. Uh, they didn't miss three serves, but you know, as I've said many times, you serve tough, you're gonna, you're gonna miss some. For Crestview, just four kills, Two by Gregory and two by Figley. Uh, no ace serves. Uh, they only missed one serve. We didn't have any block for points at all in the first set. Our second set is sponsored by Lee Kinsel on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned vehicles at LeeKinsel.com. And Melina Schrader will serve to open this set. See if Crestview can rally up a bit. That's blocked at the net. Gregory pushes it over. And then a kill attempt going down line is Rihanna Paul that misses the sideline. Crusher needs a good start in this set, would you say, Chris? Definitely. Of course, you're only down one. You know, it's not like even though the score was not uh, very close, you're still only down 1-0. You start all over in volleyball. Doesn't matter what the score was. Olivia Dammeyer pushed that one over. This will be Figley and... She will get a point. Look at that effort by Powers. Wow. Kick Figley now has three kills. Emily Klein will serve. Brought some life to the Crestview people. 
Schrader sets. Heitkamp. Kill for Olivia. Steininger will enter. Kara had a really huge service run in the opening set. This will be Etzler, and Etzler hits it to Powers. And then the kill, that one will be Megan Reinhardt. We're tied at two. Three kills for the senior. Steininger to serve again. This has to be free balled over. Back set, high camp. Boy, she is good at that. They've got that time down so well, Chris. Yeah, it's, uh, this is a great rotation here. Steininger serving. And Mark, you and I can both see that ser that serve that she does is just floating all over the place. Left and right, then it'll dip. Four aces in the opening set. Here's Etzler's block. Etzler hits it again. And just tipped to an open area. Etzler will set, and then it'll be free balled over by McCoy. And whistle blew. Center line violation. We're tied at three. R2, Brian Satterfield explaining that to Coach Kramer, what the violation was all about. Megan Reinhardt hits that one, then she plays it again. This will be Heitkamp. That's blocked. And what do we got? Net violation? I think they got Epster in the net. And the net's still bobbing. 4-3. Abby Powers goes to serve. Serve goes long. We're tied at four. This will be Nevaeh Ross, the 5-3 sophomore to serve. 40 aces for her on the season. And she missed the sideline with that one. Looked like that went off the side of her hand. It did. Yep. Here's Heitkamp to serve. Olivia. And Heitkamp went to track that one down. Powers will hit it over. Good play by the libero. Second team All-Ohio player. Kill attempt was by McCoy. Wow, what a set. And the point. 6-4, New Bremen. Reinhardt, and it fell out. 7-4. The Sports Report's in its 18th season. Catch Patrick Hammer on Friday nights on WTLW, 10 o'clock. And ace for Heitkamp. Olivia had 24 aces through the first 27 matches that Coach Kramer's team has played this year. Rolled over by McCoy. This will be Heitkamp from the back row. And then Schrader hits. That's block. Klein has to track that one down. And then trying to go across court was Lacey McCoy, and the senior missed the sideline. 9-4. And that's another ace. That six ace serves now for Cardinals. 10-4, and with that, we're going to get a timeout. That was going to crush you. They trail by six in set two. You're watching high school tournament volleyball on WOSN.
Our scoreboard today is provided by Lonex Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or Van Wert or online at Lonex.com. Scoreboard shows 10 for New Bremen and four for Crestview here in set two. Crestview did get off to a better start. It was 4-4, but the last six points went to the Cardinals. They have been on rolls twice now in this set, a match. It's blocked and stayed in bounds. It did. There's High Camp to serve. This is set. And the kill will go to Megan Reinhardt. Yeah, she's got five kills now all of a sudden. Well, when they get on a roll. High Camp again. And her serve went long. Stopping a run of eight consecutive points with Kelly Gregory to serve. Nope, not Kelly Gregory. Excuse me, it'd be Josie Kalwicki. Schrader sets, and Reinhardt tips it over. And that's a really nice play by Kelly Gregory at the net. That's why she has those, uh, what, uh, 210 kills this year, Chris? Yeah, it's very deceptive. She jumps well there in the front row and used her left hand. Schrader back sets, and Riddler puts that one away. They got that timing down. They, those two girls got two more years to be able to do that since Rit, uh, Rindler's just a freshman and Schrader's a sophomore. Here's Amelia Dammeyer to serve. 51 aces for her this year. That's second on the team to Steiniger. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Schrader has 91 aces on the year. So she's third on the team. Heitkamp from behind a 10-foot line, little roll shot. Powers goes down to get that one. Paul sets, and the ball will fall on the floor. Well, Powers was still on the floor, and that was kind of in her area, so you wouldn't expect her to get it, and uh, just a little miscommunication. That's in. That ball twisted all over the place and fell in on the end line on the service by Callie Gregory. Yeah, another nice float serve. She has 50 aces. That does lead Crestview this year. Paul hits it and hit it out. 13-9. Knights trying to make a run. Schrader just tips it over, but right there is Klein to play it. And if Schrader hits this one, what do we got? An illegal back row attack. Well, I think they're Schrader's in the front row. Paul hits it in the powers, tipped. And that point goes to the Bremen's way. I'm wondering, Chris, if the back row uh, set that ball illegally, the oh. one that the Schrader hit it over, because I don't think she was the one who was at fault. So did Powers set that ball uh, when she was in front of the spiking I, line, maybe? Yeah. And point, New Bremen. 15-10. This is April Baker doing the service. And she gets an ace. The first ace. 10. Yep. April Baker. Had just four aces on the season. Spent most of the year with the JV team. And missed that one long. It's 16-11. Cardinals miss six serves now, but they have uh, seven aces, so it's worth the uh, risk. Here's Lacey McCoy to serve. Yeah. 
Schrader will set. That was Paul who hit that one. Powers will play the shot by Figley, but we can get illegal contact. Press you back to within four. They got the three a moment ago. Schrader sets. That was Dan Meyer who played that one and played it a second time. What about that set? And in the block. I guess Schrader got that block, Chris. I think so. You know, New Bremen does not have a particularly tall front line, but from our viewpoint, Mark, we can really see that they're, you know, it seems like their elbows are above the net on those blocks. Schrader's only 5'6. Dan Meyer's 5'7. There's a block right there, and then hit over that time by Dan Meyer. Pushed to the back corner. Good play back here by Amelia. Figley has to play that one. Figley will get this hit, and then hits it to the corner. Powers got to it. What a play by Abby Powers. And then that kill will go to Figley. Allen put that one in there on well, the paint. It's probably our longest point of the match so far. There haven't and, uh, been very many of them, have there? There have not That's been very point. many. Fine to serve. Height camps hit. Set. Etzler tips it to the open corner. And then that hit a camp by, by Gregory. Powers will set. And that block will go to, I think it's my Etzler. Crestview's first block. Here comes Crestview. It's 17-14. They've got it back to three again. After trailing by as many as eight. Schrader dumped it over. And then Gregory has to push it across. Damn, out of the middle. It's blocked, but Heitkamp yeah, it went under the net, didn't it? I, I think it, it went did. under the net, yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. Crestview's got it down to two. In set two. That energized both crowds. Powers plays it, and then Schrader runs it down. Heitkamp's hit. Gregory pushes it across and gets a point. Kelly Gregory cuts the lead to one. Timeout Cardinals. They still lead by one at 17-16. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's premier sponsor for the Crestview Knights is Red Oak Realty. Ready to buy or sell, give us a call. And the premier sponsor today for the Bremen Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate. Making your next move with a name you trust, Hemelgarn Real Estate. Crestview has come back. They trailed at 16-10 when this rally began, or 17-10 when this rally began. They've got it to 17-16. Hence the Bremen timeout. Each team has used one. Well, it's a game of momentum, and right now Crestview has it. They have. Powers has to play that one. Here's Heitkamp. Oh, oh. oh, my. wonder what that timeout was all about. I uh, think. Let's get the ball to Olivia. Yeah. Let, yeah. That might be the, the hardest hit ball we've had uh, today. She really got after that one. Here's Steiniger to serve. She had a huge service run in the opening set. Back set, Figley. That was a really nice set by, uh, by Gregory. Heitkamp has to roll it over to Klein, and Gregory pushes in the back corner where Powers gets to it. Here's Heitkamp again. This time it's blocked, blocked, and that time she blocks for a point. Well, isn't that what you do, Chris? They're making a run at you, your All-Ohio player steps up. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a great uh, reaction to that. You know, she hit the ball, which got blocked, and she ended up getting the block right away. With a three-point lead, Steiniger serves. Figley kind of mishit that one a bit, and Steiniger will set this one. Heitkamp again. Oh, she hit it outside the antenna? Oh, the return was outside the antenna. And I saw the official pointing at it, and I realized the block, and there is a Crestview timeout. 
They had it down to one. We get this time out. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball, WOSN. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTOW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com. The last three points have gone the way of the New Bremen Cardinals. Trying to win set two. Crestview trying to even it up at one set apiece. Etzler will hit. There's Powers with a set again of Reinhardt. That one's blocked. Klein will set. Figley. In. Adeline Figley coming up big in this set. Yeah, she's got three kills in this set, five overall. Adeline gets to serve. Reinhardt. Back set to Heitkamp. And point, Lou Raymond. That's kind of an odd, odd play right there. Both sides of the ball was just ping-ponging around. Gabby Powers to serve. The team leads on the Loudix Jury scoreboard. Gregory hits it. There's your All-Ohio player stepping up for Crestview, getting she's a got, point. She's got five kills also today. Nevaeh Ross. Heitkamp. And out. 21-19, Crestview. Yeah, back to two points. Do they have one more run in them? And is it enough to get over the top? Reinhardt again. That's played by Klein. This will be free balled over by Lacey McCoy. And out of the middle, and in, the shot by Mary Rindler. That's really a good hit for a freshman. She's moving to her left and hit the ball back to the right. There's Olivia Heitkamp to serve. Again by Gregory. And in falls. A little miscommunication with Heather McCoy. New Bremen, two points away from taking a two-set lead. It's blocked. Set again. This will be free ball by Klein. But Steininger gets to it. Rindler out of the middle. And we're going to get a touch called by our R1. He said, I've got the call. He's got the best view. He does. Mm -hmm. Here's Heitkamp trying to close out the second set. And that's blocked out of bounds on the kill by Lacey McCoy. Crestview hangs in there. It's her first kill today. 24-20. Josie Kalwicki will serve. Eight aces on the year for Josie. Heitkamp from the back row. Dumped over by Schrader, and she got a point. Set two goes the way of the New Bremen Cardinals, 25-19. Set three coming up here at watching high school tournament volleyball, WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center. The premier sponsor for the Debrement Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate. Make your next move with a name you trust. That would be Hemelgarn Real Estate. Our premier sponsor for the Crestview Knights is Red Oak Realty. Ready to buy or sell? Give us a call at Red Oak Realty. Debrement takes the opening two sets. Chris, do you have any numbers to jump off the page at you? Well, we had uh, New Bremen with 12 kills in that set, led by Heitkamp with five. 
But Megan Reinhardt also had three. Mary Rindler had three. They had, uh, uh, the team had three ace serves, two of them from Height Camp. Three miss serves, though, and two blocks for Crestview. They ended up with seven kills, three each by Gregory and Figley. One ace serve, and that was by, uh, by, uh, by Gregory. Set three, the opening point will go to Crestview on the miss hit. And put, put it that one straight down to net is McCoy. And what do we got? Somebody's in the net. Looks like it was. Heather McCoy, we're tied at one. Melina Schrader to serve. Klein hits it over. Back set high camp. She puts that one away. She's had, what, uh, 13 kills in the opening? A couple of sets here. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yep. Schrader had, had, not, had not used her kill ability early, but she finished out set two with a kill. Well, and fooled everybody. Yes, it did. Here's Schrader to serve. Figley hits it to Schrader. And then Heitkamp will get this hit. Klein sets. Gregory hits it over. Rihanna Paul hits it. And she gets a point. Well, well, Rihanna hasn't had too many opportunities today, but she does have two kills. 3-1. The winner will get Monroeville. Straight set winner over Newark Catholic earlier today. Etzler hits it beyond the end line. 4-1 New Bremen. Trader serves. Etzler again just tips it to an open spot, but Schrader got to that. Good play by her. Heitkamp in. There's two Boy, kills already in this set. She is having a monstrous match. Figley hits it over. Schrader will set again. Rihanna Paul to Klein. Etzler will get this tip. And Schrader dumps it over. Etzler again. Good diving play by Dammeyer. Nice roll. And then a point for Dan Meyer, 6-1. The New Bremen covers the floor so well. They absolutely do. It's a Crestview timeout. They trail by five early in set three. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our third set today is sponsored by Lee Kinsel on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. 6-1 here in set three, New Bremen. And they just picked up right where they left off from set number two. They've had multiple lengthy runs here today in our opening two sets. Crestview fought back in set two. Had been down too far, got it to two a couple of times, it ended up being a five-point set. Here's Schrader to serve again. And Etzler's shot is blocked with the net. Heitkamp got that one. Etzler just had a tough time getting that ball past the New Bremen block. Olivia Heitkamp listed at 6-1, and she is all of that. Set. Figley tips. That will be a Crestview point. And she's got six kills. Figley serves. That's blocked and point Crestview. Chris, I walked in today with uh, Coach Kramer's parents. Oh, okay. Okay. And you know, we, we're just dealing with election season and misinformation and all that. 
I said, uh, Mr. Kramer, there's a block for a point. I said, uh, you've had a, a birthday in the family. And he said, no, we haven't. Well, it was Diana's mom's birthday yesterday. Oh, so we had a little misinformation. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Here's Heitkamp. And that one's blocked for another point. Back-to-back -back blocks for points. 7-5. Oh, and the short serve comes up a bit short. That stops a four-point run. Well, you see teams serve that short serve a lot of times after they've scored a few points in the defense. So the serve receive teams a little bit back on their heels. Doesn't work, though, if you don't get it in. Steininger serves. And that's played in the back row. She gets an ace. That ball's moving all over the place. How many aces does she have on your score sheet? She has five. Yeah. Here's Kara to serve again. Etzler. In? It is. Waiting for a call. It's your first kill today. She's had a lot of swings, but the ball seems to be going into the arms of blockers from New Bremen. Yeah, or it's been dug up by the back row. Here's Nevaeh Ross to serve. Heitkamp just has to free ball it over where it's played back. Steiniger will back set this one. Reinhardt hits that. McCoy. How about Lacey McCoy going up and getting that one listed at 5-9. Well, Preston's right back in this after getting a rough start. They are. Here's Down. Ross to serve again. Down just two. Reinhardt again. Bigley had to play it. Here's McCoy. Back set high camp. Missed the sideline. Preston's down just a single point. And long serve. A couple of veteran coaches that we have here today. Tammy Gregory in her 17th year at Crestview with 291 victories at the 70% winning march. Here's Powers to serve. McCoy's blocked. Heitkamp got it. On the other side, Diana Kramer in her seventh year at New Bremen where she has won 91% of her contests. 178 wins and 17 losses. 313 wins and 40 losses overall in her career. Here's a set. Height camp, it's blocked. Point will go to Lacey McCoy. Just think of all the coaches that have 17 losses this year. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. And she has 17 losses in seven years. That's a fourth block well, already for uh, Crestview in this set. That, that means you're averaging 25 wins a season. Rindler. Mary Rindler, the freshman, put that one to the floor. Nice little front slide there. She's hit a couple of back slides, uh, but the first front slide we've seen, she has six uh, kills now. 12-9 on our Loudix Jury scoreboard. <laughs> Olivia Heitkamp. McCoy puts it to Abby Powers. And Reinhardt hit it. In. 13-9. Reinhardt has six kills. That ball is tipped over by Kennedy Kreider for a point. 13-10. Five girls now for uh, the Knights have kills. Kelly Gregory. And that will be a point for Cali. 13-11. How important would it be for Crestview to get a lead? You know, they've been trailing them in, in all three sets. The first one not close at all. They've tried to catch up a couple of times. Rindler free balls it over. Here's a chance for Crestview. Schrader had to go get it. Reinhardt. Point Crestview. They're down just one again. 
13-12. Schrader back sets, height camp. That ball was tipped over by Lisa McCoy. Schrader tipped that one over. Kill attempt was by Figley. That point will end up going to Crestview, and we are tied at 13. Well, they're going to get their chance to take the lead right here. They trailed 7-1 to open the match. They've got it back to 13-all. And the serve goes into the net. 14-13. Amelia Dammeyer, Rihanna Paul enter. Amelia will serve. And we're going to free ball it over. It's going to be a bit short. Point, New Bremen. Now it's a two-point lead. Good effort, though, by the Knights on that, on that play. Coach Gregory calling for a sub and couldn't get it. Official had already beckoned for play to take place. A kill attempt was by Figley. That was Heitkamp. Figley again. And she gets a point for her efforts. 15-14. Mark, on our first hit, I thought that ball was going to be a kill. It was directly in line with us. We have a good view on it. And Abby Powers came from nowhere and, and dug yeah. up that ball. But then she got the kill on this. Crushley was forced that they weren't out of rotation on the serve because they thought it was, uh, a sub was going to take place. There's an ace. We're tied at 15. But they were able to hustle back and get into the proper position before the serve occurred and not be out of rotation. Well, they're going to get a second chance here to take the lead. We're at 15 all. This would be huge for Crestview with McCoy to serve. And they do take a lead. 16-15 Knights. Got the perseverance for those young ladies. Service again by McCoy. Schrader hits it over and gets a point. Tied at 16. That's your second kill, but both of them were huge. The first one was point 25 in set number two, and then the second one was right there to stop that run. Olivia Danmeyer, April Baker enter. April gets to serve. Tied at 16 in set three. Oh, what a position with a ball by Adeline Figley. That's a sophomore making a great play. It is. She got four kills in this set, nine overall. She's finding an open piece of wood over on that corner right there. Here's Klein to serve. Her team's up one. Schrader hits it over. Klein sets. Here's Figley again. And that shot's blocked for a point. Adeline Figley has come alive here in this set. Two-point night lead. And long serve. It's a fourth miss serve in this set. 18-17 with Schrader to serve. Each team has used a timeout. Her serve is short. 19-17. Here's Figley to serve. She had a big run here in the front row. 23 aces on the season for her. Schrader had to go get that one. Crestview with a chance. Gregory hit it over. Set. High camp. 18-18. Yeah, she's got uh, 14 kills overall. Steiniger enters, as does Megan Reinhardt. It's good rotation for New Bremen. Etzler to Powers. And Schrader couldn't play it. A little bit too close to the net on the pass. 2018 Knights. Nevaeh Ross to serve.
And her serve goes long. 2019. Abby Powers, second team All-Ohio player, as a libero will serve this ball. 36 aces for her this year. And that goes long. Oh, trade missed serves here. We've had uh, combined eight missed serves in this set. And Josie Kowicki in. Josie's turn to serve. Of course, Crestview would be very happy to just trade missed serves the rest of this set, and they end up winning by two. Reinhardt. And tipped over by Kennedy Kreider. Here's Reinhardt. Good play that time by Steiniger. Ball Wicker was going to get to the floor. Heitkamp hit that one. Out of the middle, Rindler. They just have so many weapons, Chris. You, you know, you think you could double up on Heitkamp, but then somebody else scores. Yeah, where did that come from? I mean, that was the first quick hit for Rindler today, and she's got eight kills. Excuse me, seven kills. Olivia Heitkamp, her team trails by one in set three. Here's Reinhardt, just hits it over. Gregory sets. And the libero hits. Klein. Free ball. See if Crestview can use it. Schrader dumps it over. Almost got a point for her efforts. And then Klein hits that one to Powers. Back set, Heitkamp. Heitkamp scores. We're tied at 21. And the block is timed well, but the ball fell in between the blockers and the net. That's her fourth kill in this set. Reinhardt's fourth kill. Tied at 21 with Olivia Heitkamp to serve again. Back set. Tipped over. Steiner got to it, though. And then Schrader. Powers got to that one. Schrader back sets high camp again. She got it in between the antenna. Here's Klein set. And McCoy hits it to high camp. Megan Reinhardt. Kreider hits it into the block. That's a good point. Kreider again. And Reinhardt. Crestview wins a very lengthy point at 22-21. Kelly Gregory serve is long. Tied at 22. Some service errors here by Crestview. Yeah, they missed six in this set. And yet, are tied in the 20s. We are tied at 22. What do we got? Timeout on the floor. New Bremen call it. We'll check that at the break. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our presenting sponsor today here at the Nutter Center is brought to you by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. And we've been giving our scoreboard throughout the day today. That has been sponsored today by Loudix Jewelry. The scoreboard provided by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater, in Van Wert, or online. They did not take a timeout off the scoreboard, Chris. You thought it was New Bremen? I wasn't sure. Either way, it says one apiece on the scoreboard, and Amelia Dammeyer will serve. Tied at 22. But well, we're playing to three. Yeah, that's correct. The three points to go. This will be a cross-court serve also. Yep, not quite. Coach Kramer wanted a four contact, so it didn't get it. Here's the hit. Klein got to that one. Here's the set. And that ball went right to me. But I don't have any eligibility left on the hit by Adlin Figley. Yeah. That knocked my water bottle over. 
Coming out of the timeout, Crestview, 23-22. Lacey McCoy serves. Schrader tips it to the corner like she likes to do, and she's going to get a point for her effort. Tied at 23. On the rotation, April Baker enters, as does Olivia Dammeyer. Good serve. Tip to the open area and a point. Adeline Figley. Crestview, a point away from winning set three. That brings that crowd to life. She's got seven kills in this set, 12 overall. Here's Ellie Klein to serve. Schrader hits it. Set. Figley gets it blocked. And a point. Well, the Crestview Knights come from behind. They were trailed 7-1 in this set. They came back to win it 25-23. We'll go to set four after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center here at Wright State University. Crestview has won set three. New Bremen leads two sets to one. Our presenting sponsor in this game is by, brought to you by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. Crestview wins the set. Chris, your stat numbers. Well, for Crestview, 11 kills, eight of them by Adeline Figley. Uh, they had two ace serves. They didn't miss six serves, but they had four blocks for points. And up until this they, time, they only had one block in the first two sets combined. Uh, for New Bremen, they had 10 kills led by Olivia Heitkamp with four. One ace serve, they missed three serves and had two blocks. Olivia Heitkamp has 17 kills in the match to lead all players. And Figley has 13 to lead Crestview. I've been very impressed by Adeline Figley today as a sophomore. She had quite the day so far. We're yeah. headed into set four. Yeah, 13 kills. And some of them, uh, not necessarily power, Chris, but just finding the right spot on the floor. Finding the right spot, and uh, she's tipped a few. And also, she's gotten a couple off serve receives from the right side, so uh, getting her kills from both uh, antennas, both pins. Here's Melina Schrader to serve. This will be Figley, and she gets blocked by Heitkamp that time. Etzler hits it to the back row where Dammeyer gets to it. And then off a of blocker, the point will go to Rihanna Paul. That's her third kill today. There we go, waiting to get a ball into Schrader to serve. 91 aces for the season. Sophomore leads her team, and that got another one right there. First one today. Schrader to serve again. Figley tips it to the open spot, as she has done several times today, gets a point by doing so. Well, you just mentioned that a minute ago about finding the open spot. 2-1, New Bremen. Schrader runs a long way to set Heitkamp. Klein made that play. And Powers will set Heitkamp again. This time, Figley. Has she gone down sideline very often today, Chris? Doesn't, Not too often. No, I've got a point that time. Tied it to as Klein serves. And Heitkamp hits it through a blocker. They kick alive, though. And it gets free balled over. Good play. Heitkamp again. And that time she gets the point, hit the tape, and couldn't do much with it. 
Looking over at the New Bremen bench, there's a young lady over there named Paige Jones. Tells a little bit about getting kills in the state tournament. Well, she probably bought 50 or 60 state tournament <laughs> programs so she can uh, line her apartment with those. Her name's in there quite a few times. Yes, it in the is. Book. Bremen tracks that one down. Reinhardt hits it to the back row. And then out. It was out. Just or missed. Two. Yep. Steinegger to serve again. She has five aces today. Her team's up 4-2. And that will be an ace. Six. 5-2. We've got two more matches coming up for you today. Mental Lake Catholic at 25 and 2 will play Versailles, and then Coldwater at 24 and 4 will play Byersville Meadowbrook. They are 25 and 2, and those matches will air later on today on WOSN as well. That would be Division Three state tournament. Steininger to serve. Her team's up three here in the fourth set. Bigly tipped that one. Here's Heitkamp. It's blocked by Esther, but they keep it alive. And then Schrader hit that one over. Figley again, long. 6-2. I was wondering how a new Bremen would play after set three got away from them. Hasn't seemed to bother them any. They've come right back here to take a four-point lead. They've taken pretty good leads in three out of the four sets. That'd be early leads. Figley. Schrader sets again. Dammeyer hits it out of the middle that time. And Klein will set up Gregory. He missed the back line. 7-2. And as we have seen multiple times, early in the set it goes New Bremen's way. And Crestview will take a timeout. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Back at the Nutter Center, where our scoreboard is provided by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Here's Steininger to serve with her team up by five in the fourth set. Etzler hits it to Powers. And then Heitkamp threw a blocker for a point. Six consecutive points have gone the way of the Cardinals. We were tied at two, and now it's 8-2. The sub in. This will bring Lacey McCoy in to play in the back row. She replaces Lily Best. Think they ran a long way to get that one. Megan Reinhardt. And Etzler, hit it out. 9-2. Not a bad idea there to go down line. She hits it pretty, pretty short, in other words, straight down. It was just out uh, by maybe a foot. Here's Steininger serve. And hit it into the antenna that time. It'll be 10-2. Our fourth set today, is sponsored by Lee Kinsel on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. Steininger with her team up eight. Set, hit, Figley, in. That breaks a string of eight consecutive points by the Cardinals. Crestview has three points. All three of them are on Figley kills. Back set, Heitkamp off a block, out of bounds. 11-3. Well, she now has 20 kills. With Abby Powers to serve. Etzler, push. Steininger will set this time, and Reinhardt hits it over. 
And it falls. 12-3. She's got four kills now, two in this set. And another Crestview timeout. They trail by nine in set four. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's premier sponsor for the Crestview Knights is Red Oak Realty. Ready to buy or sell? Give us a call. Sponsors for the Crestview Knights are the premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate. Make your next move with a name you trust. That would be Hemelgarn Real Estate. And after having a set three that uh, went the way of the Crestview Knights, set four has been all New Bremen with a 12-3 lead. Crestview has burned both of their timeouts. And here is Abby Powers to serve. That's the free balls it over. Back set and Reinhardt hits. Gregory hits it over. This will be Heitkamp. And then Figley. Etzler, good diving play by Schrader to keep it alive. This will be Etzler again, and she gets a kill. Another long point that Crestview scores on. Both sides of the net there. Uh, the teams are out of system more than one time. Well, they've rallied several times today in the matches that we've uh, been covering. And Heitkamp hits it through a blocker for a point. We'll see if Crestview has one more rally left in them today. They trail by nine with Heitkamp to serve. It just looked to me like her entire head and shoulders are above the net on that kill. I, I mean, that can't be, but it just sure, it just sure looked like it. Olivia Heitkamp, the junior, listed at 6-1. And that kill will go to uh, Callie Gregory. That's her sixth kill today. Through three sets, Callie Gregory also had 14 assists. Schrader sets. Had to go down to the floor to get Heitkamp's hit. Here's Kreider's tip. Schrader hit that one, and she will get a point for that one. She's got four kills. Looking at our three-set stat page. Molina had four kills, and she had 26 assists through the first three sets. Figley plays it over. And Rihanna Paul gets a point. 14-6. She's got three kills in this set. Well, if I could Five add, it's... Overall. Okay, I missed a point. It's 15-5 on my stat page. Now it's 16. Amelia Dammeyer. New Bremen stepping on the gas here in set four. Klein hits. Schrader dumps it over. Lacey McCoy tried to make a play on it, but the point goes to New Bremen at 17-5. Tip. Rindler hit it over on Callie Gregory's play. That's blocked by Schrader. And they get a point. 17-6 with McCoy to serve, with Gregory to serve. 5-10 junior. Rihanna Paul. 
and Schrader with the kill. Schrader did a nice job there staying out of the net. Very tempting on a play like that to just go ahead and follow through and then your fingers graze the tape. Only once in this set has Crestview scored on service. New Bremen has scored every time they have served in set four and they do an ace right there. 19-6. second ace serve. Yeah, she smiles over coach and gets a big smile in return, does the freshman. Yep. Bigley hit it over. Schrader back sets Heitkamp. And the point, that block at the net by Lacey McCoy. That's uh, Crestview's sixth block today. 19-7. Been a lot of blocks from both sides. Not blocks for points, but blocks that stayed in play. McCoy serves. And that kill goes to Olivia Dammeyer. It's her first today. She loved it. 20 to 7. Melina Schrader serves. Powers got to that one. Figley's had some success going there. Not that time. That's Powers 24th dig. And Etzler hit it. Touch. Yep, thought it was. 19-8. Well, in volleyball, it's never over. Here's I mean, Ellie. You know, there's no taking a knee in volleyball, so you got to keep playing. And that ball was touched. That will be a new Bremen point. Makes it 20 to 8. Here's Steiniger to serve. And she gets an ace. Ace number seven. 21 8. That set that they lost in set three, that's the first set that New Bremen has lost in the tournament. Ooh. Gregory sets. That's blocked, but blocked out of bounds. Figley has 17 kills. 22-9. This is her serve. That landed right on the end line. <laughs> I love coaches. Coach Kramer <laughs> looked at that ball, hit the line, <laughs> threw a frown up right immediately. Uh, here's Figley again. Sophomore's had quite the day today here in the state tournament. But her team trails by 12 in set four. Dammeyer. Twenty-three ten. Kill number two, both in this set. Here's New Bremen a couple of points away from moving into Saturday's final. Ace for Powers. And now they're a point away. Power serves. And that ace will wrap it up. The New Bremen Cardinals will come back to win set number four. And with that, the, the uh, win that they will take right there in that set will move them into the finals where they will play Monroeville on Saturday. The sets went this way today for New Bremen. They won the opening set 25-8. They won set two 25-20. Crestview came back to win set three 25-23. And then New Bremen stepped on the gas in set number four to win it 25-10. The Crestview Knights will finish the season at 21-8. They were Northwest Conference champions at 8-0. New Bremen will move into the finals. They will be 27-1. They were 8-1 and tied for a MAC championship. How about stat numbers, Chris? Well, first, congratulations to Crestview. 
Uh, when they were two and five, I bet nobody, nobody at Crestview said we're going to be in the state tournament. So just a nice season for them. Uh, and congratulations, New Bremen. They're going to move into the finals. They ended up with 48 kills on the day, 21 of them from Olivia Heitkamp, 11, excuse me, 13 ace serves, seven of them from Kira Steininger. They missed nine serves and had four blocks. For Crestview, uh, 30 kills, 16 of them from Adlin Figley. She had a real nice day today. They had four ace serves. They missed uh, eight serves. Oddly enough, six of them were in the se third set, which is the one they won and they ended up with six blocks. Appreciate you keeping the stat numbers for us today. Chris, that puts the New Bremen Cardinals into the finals on Saturday. Well, they will play Monroeville. That will be a 11 o'clock match on Saturday. I want to thank our crew here today. That would be Megan Sherrick, Lexi Waddle, Nick Fralick will edit this back at the station. Our pres presenting sponsor today has been Speedway Lanes. Our scoreboard's been sponsored by Loudex Jewelry. Our set sponsor, Lee Kinsel Sales and Service. And our two premier sponsors for New Bremen, Hemelgarn Real Estate, and for Crestview, Red Oak Realty. Lexi and Megan are going to take the uh, cameras and microphones back into the locker rooms and hopefully get a, a press conference interview from both coaches. And we'll finish up our, our day of broadcasting, at least here in the Division Four, with that. New Bremen with a four-set win over Crestview. You've been watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. But I think first and foremost, it was so big to come back that third set because I think that we could have just folded um, at that time. And, and that's what's so nice about the, this group is they don't give up. They don't give up. Um, you know, t today wasn't our day. And, you know, I think that, you know, going up a, to, against a team like New Bremen, you know, they have so much experience here. And, you know, we, we knew it was going to be battle, a ba battle. But, you know, just a lot of, you know, unforced errors, things that, you know, maybe we could have controlled better. But, you know, I have to give it to them. You know, they have a lot of weapons, um, you know, defensively, you know, an amazing setter. And um, it just, you know, they just had a lot that we couldn't, couldn't um, handle today. You guys saw them way back in August. And, uh, I mean, you're obviously a different group. They're a different group. Did you ever think that you might see them again down the road? And, I mean, just talk about how different you guys are from, from then to now. It was a goal. It was definitely a goal to get here, you know, and I think, uh, a lot of times, you know, the, the tournament draw just kind of, you know, went in our favor this year. And, you know, because normally we face a MAC team, you know, in the districts. And so it's always tough. It's always tough, you know, most of the time to even get out of our sectionals. And uh, when, when we saw, well, saw the draw, you know, we were excited. You know, we knew that what we were capable of, we have a great group. And, you know, um, very expected, you know, that they would be back at state. Um, but we are a different team, you know, a completely different lineup when we went there. And, and I did. I, coming in here, I, I felt confident. And I, I felt the girls felt confident on what we've um, been able to achieve this year. That, you know, and I think that's why we were able to take that game from them because we knew that we could, we could play with them. What made the difference in the third set? Because that 8-2 run, whatever it was that you did, mm -hmm. uh, you made them look mortal. It, it was, you know, and I just, you know, they, they knew what was on the line. They still knew what they wanted to accomplish this year. And, you know, we just said, you know, we have to focus on, you know, every every point, you know, because I think I called a timeout. We were down six to one at that time. And um, but still, you know, I, I have confidence in these girls and they have confidence. And I just said, this is the game we have to have. We have to have if we want to move on. And, you know, I think that's what we did. But we got that that energy, you know, when you're getting on top, we play a lot more confident, too. Seems like you guys were had a few errors to start the fourth set. Was it just a little bit of a letdown after the tough third, or were they forced to enjoy? I, I think it is. You know, we've always been kind of an up and down team. Um, you know, plus the game of volleyball is such so full of momentum swings, and you know, and that that was a crucial time, crucial time. And um, so when they're they're getting us down, you know, um, New Bremen feeds off that. They feed off that fire. They fed off their fans and and each other. And you know, it was just like we were always on the opposite end, always trying to work harder for that point, always trying to fight back. Coach, you guys saw Crestview way back in August, and uh, I don't know, did you ever think that you'd see them again down the line, and, and how different are both groups from then to now? Right, I'm, I've been coaching long enough to know that nothing ever works out the way that you think it's gonna work out, or as planned. I told these girls, we don't have the same lineup then. They don't have the same lineup then. Um, so 
you know, we just focus on our path, our journey, finding a way. We know that Crestview is good. They're young. They got almost everybody coming back next year. They played us really, really tough back in August. Um, but we continue to get better. I know that they got better too, but we were locked in, we were focused today, and I'm really, really proud. Somebody in the room when Crestview was in there called you guys intimidating. I imagine that's just the way you like it, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, always tell people, we always tell people to put your game face on. Yeah. Put your game face on. Captain's meeting is a serious place you can go to. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if we're intimidating. I mean, our average height is maybe five six. We just, you know, I talked about those phrases. One of those phrases that that we've been talking about is being confident. Um, not feeling confident, but being confident. And confident is the feeling. You're going to lose that feeling real quick because you're going to make a mistake. So after that third set we lost, a lot of teams start to lose their feeling of confidence, and then they don't start out strong. We made our we 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 came out of that timeout or after the th end of the third set, and we were confident. You know, most people are like, oh, Crestview's got the momentum, Green is not feeling confident, but we are confident. Um, and sometimes, confident people make mistakes. Like in practice, we make a lot of mistakes. Um, and that's okay. <laughs> and I think that that's, that's what gets you ready for moments like this. Practices are really, really intense. And they get aced more than probably they pass ball to target. We do a serving drill, and I, you know, yesterday was the first time I think it, finished in less than five minutes. Usually it's going on forever. And sometimes it's so bad we even have to press the reset button and start back over at zero because otherwise we'll be doing the same drill all practice. But they're mentally tough and they expect to win. Olivia, uh, for you obviously, you know, being able to be one of the strong leaders on the team in, in, in points, but just overall can you speak on um, what you guys have left, obviously, one more game. Um, job's not finished, I guess you guys would say. How would you characterize guys' mentality going forward now in the state finals game and take place from this one? I think we're so like mentally strong that like I feel like we can play a hundred more games. Like I <sighs> but um, I think we're gonna just put it all out there especially for Saturday. The way the timing works you do have all day tomorrow to get ready for Saturday. How much of that is an advantage for you guys you think? I mean I think it is. I mean we get a day off, we get a day to rest. And more importantly, we get to honor veterans tomorrow. It's November 11th. There's Veterans Day assemblies. These girls are going to be wearing their red, white, and blue to the school. Um, and we get a reset, refocus, and come ready to play. I know that Kendra's a fabulous coach, and the Roadville's been here. They're hungry. Um, and it's going to be a great match.